our primarily specialty is in taking care of patients who have acute stroke and uh, try to remove uh, the clot from the brain. Uh, the patients who are experiencing stroke have a very small window where something can be performed to reverse the signs of stroke. Particularly the stroke is as a result of a blockage of the artery of the brain. Uh, so within first six hours, if we can successfully chase the clot and can grab it and remove it off the artery and open the blocked artery and restore flow to the brain, we can potentially save the person who is having stroke at that time and can reverse his symptoms. Well, it depends on the, the size of the stroke. If we are able to successfully retrieve the clot and, and can fully reverse uh, the patient's symptoms of stroke, then there is a very high chance that the patient will be able to go home in the next couple of days. You know, as you can imagine, uh, navigating a catheter into the artery in the brain is probably one of the longest uh, routes that somebody has to take while going through the artery of the leg all the way into the brain. So we need long catheters, and plus the arteries in the brain are really tiny, and they are floating in the CSF, which is a fluid sac around the brain. Unlike the heart, where the arteries are kind of fixed in the muscle, the arteries in the brain are floating. So any damage to the artery will result in bleeding all around the brain. So we have to be extremely careful and slow with our manipulations of these arteries while removing these clots because the risk of hemorrhage is high. It is important for us to recognize uh, the stroke promptly and take the patient or, or uh, at least initiate 911 so that the patient gets access uh, to the treatment modalities immediately rather than waiting for a few hours because each hour makes a difference. In fact, each minute makes a difference.